Once we log into the website and we want to add a product, we're going to go to products. So WooCommerce is the shopping cart system, and then products is where we add products. So I'm first going to look at all products because we did add one. So here's one, and we can look at this one by clicking on edit to see how it was added. So we entered the title right here. We just typed in the name. And then here's where you could put a description. You, ju you would just type whatever description you want. You would just type it there. And it can go as long as you want. And then we scroll down. We see we've got it in a category called thin heel. Maybe you don't like that category. You go over here to categories. You give it, create a new category name. We just created these three, boots, sandals, thin heel. Then you go to categories. You make a new category name. Um, and then we put up the product image, and then in the product gallery, we can click here to add more product image images. So we've got three images for that item. And then it's um, what we call a variable product, which means there's options. You could pick a color. You could pick the size. Those are the variations. When you first come to this page, you may not see that. It might be like that. So you just click this arrow to make it open. And then you can see this is where we entered the SKU number. And we set it to say that we've got 100 in stock. Of course, that isn't the actual number. I don't know what the number is. But you can set a stock quantity. And when you do, that means that when the website keeps track of every sale and when the 100th one is gone, it will no longer show that shoe on the website so people can't order a shoe that doesn't exist anymore. Or if it's something that will always be available, you can set a number here. And that number where it says low stock threshold, when it gets to five left, then it would send you an email and let you know that you're running low on that item. And the shipping is calculated based on the weight of the item and then the length, width, and height of the box. And I don't know this information, so you would have to enter that. Linked products is something that you use, for example, if you've got hats. So then you might say, here are some hats that would look good with these shoes, but we don't have that, so we're not going to use it. Attributes are over here, and I, I can't see them, so there's this option to expand or close. So I'm going to click that little down arrow. Hopefully that does it. No, nope. I just <clears throat> somehow closed this by mistake. There it is. So I clicked that arrow and opened it again. Now you can see the sizes. So I could click add new and I'd add a new size. And we do want the sizes visible on the product page so people can select the size they want. And then other variations, we have black, silver, and white for this shoe. And it's available in black, silver, and white in all these sizes. And then on advanced, we're not using anything there. Um, there's some other options, we're not using that. So that's showing how we've added a product, and in the next video, we'll look at how to actually add one.